you know, I want to pray. I want to release a prayer of clarity. Let me turn this down a little bit so you can hear me clearly. But I want this to be plain. Um, I feel led to release a prayer of clarity. I believe strongly that this is going to be a week and the rest of this month is going to be a month. And this is, in particular this week, is going to be a week of clarity for many of us, um, for myself, for you. So I just want to, I, I want to stand in agreement um, with God. And I want to stand in agreement as it pertains to clarity. Um, oftentimes when we don't have clarity, then we don't know what decisions to make in life. When we don't have clarity, we don't know what, 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 what the next turn should be. When we don't have clarity, we lose hope sometimes. When we don't have clarity, we lose trust sometimes. So I stand in agreement. I stand in agreement with everyone who's listening to this prayer, who is seeking clarity, clarity about your job, clarity about your education, clarity about your finance, clarity about your relationship. Hallelujah. And I stand in agreement now and I say, God, pour clarity on your children. Father God, I stand in your presence right now and I ask you to pour understanding, a deeper level of understanding on your children, a deeper level of understanding on your sons and your daughters, that they will begin to understand the, your plan for their life, that they will begin to understand your plan for their, for their family members' life, that they will begin to understand your, your plan for their career, your plan for their education, your plan for the rest of the year. God, I pray against every confusion that may be in the heart and the mind of your children any confusion that will be in the heart and the mind of your sons and your daughter. You are not a God of confusion. You said in your word that you have given us the spirit of a sound mind, a sound mind, a sound mind. So God, I pray that every worrying, every distraction, everything that is distracting your children from understanding, everything that is distracting your children from clarity, I pray now in the matchless name of Jesus, in the powerful name of Jesus, that you will begin to pour clarity on your children, wisdom, knowledge and understanding, clarity for their next season, clarity for their next season, clarity for their next journey, clarity in what you want them to do in their job. I, I, I see people asking, should I stay at this job? Should I leave? I see people who are without job and they've been applying for jobs and they're not getting any response. But Father God, I pray that you will begin to give them clarity, 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 about what to do and, and what not to say and what to say and when to say it and how to say it. Clarity over, the, over their mind. Clarity over their personality and who they are. Wherever there is identity confusion, wherever there is... um low self-esteem, where wherever there is a lack of confidence and a lack of hope, I pray that you begin to release a river of clarity up on your children, that they will begin to understand your plan for their life, that they will begin to understand your, 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 your plan to prosper them, your plan to lift them up, your plan to elevate them, that they will begin to understand that whatever is delayed doesn't mean that it won't happen, that delay don't mean it won't happen, that if it linger. It doesn't mean it won't happen. Father God, I pray that there will be a supernatural understanding upon everyone under the sound of my voice, that they will grow and they will come into deeper clarity this week, that this week the Lord will begin to clarify things for you. He will begin to bring things to surface and bring things to understanding. And when you begin to receive this clarity and when you begin to receive this understanding, that there will be a supernatural rest up on you because, because, because you have now understand. Because you have now understand, there will be a sense of peace. There will be a sense of rest upon you. Some of us are restless. Some of you are restless because you don't have clarity. Some of you are restless because you don't have, you don't have understanding. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what's next. And everything seems so chaotic in your life. But I pray that in the midst of the chaos, in the midst of the trouble, in the midst of all the noise, that you begin to have a stillness of clarity, a 
stillness of clarity that you will not be distracted from the last thing that God said to you. You will not be distracted from, from, from the things that you're planning and the plans that you have been outlining. Uh, uh, don't get distracted. Don't let because everything seems so upside down in the world that you lose hope in your business idea and your business plan and your education and your plan to move forward. I hear the Lord say continue to move forward because as you make this step, he will begin to give you more clarity. Don't be at a standstill because you don't have clarity. Continue to step. Remember, we walk not by not by sight, but we walk by faith. So even when you can't see it, begin to walk out in trust and in faith in the God you serve and the God who have kept you. In the God who have kept you. The God who have kept you. I pray clarity over you. Clarity for your next season. Clarity for decisions that you need to make. I pray clarity, clarity, clarity so your mind will not be um, um, overthinking and overwhelmed. I pray clarity over you in the name of Jesus. That you begin to, 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 to experience a sense of peace because you have now understand. That you begin to experience a sense of peace because you now have clarity clarity. You will not be stuck in confusion. You will not be stuck in confusion. You will not be stuck in confusion, but I pray clarity over you in the name of God who cares for you. And because he cares for you and cares about you, he's giving you clarity in this season. In the name of Jesus, you have clarity. You have clarity. You have clarity. You have clarity. Pick yourself up. Do not be lazy. Do not be um 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 discouraged. Be motivated because the Lord is not done with you yet. There's clarity. There's clarity coming for you this week. You will understand. You will understand. You will understand what your next season is about. You will understand what your next blessing is about. There's clarity. 